Hello and welcome to another review on this channel. This is another sponsored video and these were sent to me for free by the company. And if you like what you see here, you can check in the video description below for all the links on what uh, information you can get on these as well as uh, links to buy them and see updates from them. This is series 5 and they sent me 7 so um, if I'm lucky I'll get half a set and there seems to be 14 in this set and uh, oh look according to the website they are a, final, a finalist in the 2018 Tour of the Year Awards and I know what you're thinking 2018 hasn't even happened yet and no not even in Japan land where everything's in the future they still not reach 2018 yet. <laughs> so anyway, uh, according to this board, you will get one tiny stuffed animal in there. And they're not too light. It feels like there's stuff in here, so that's good. Um, actually, no, I think there's back in them. I can kind of see the animal. So I guess if you're cheating, you can look in the hole and maybe find what creature you're getting. Uh, for what I can see here, I like... I hope I get the polar pair. Good look, polar pair's kind of cool. So, uh, this video is going to be an unboxing of seven of these, or unboring seven of these, and I'm going to keep the bag that they sent it to me because uh, they stop rolling about. Because um, <laughs> that's what happens to balls, they roll all over the place. And okay, um, yeah, in fact, uh, these are sold in Asia properly. I guess they would have been sold in gacha machines. So, oh, you don't know what that is, that's the capsule toy machines. That's when you put a coin into the machine and, uh, you know, a random ball gets thrown out at you and you get what you get. So, um, riveting YouTube, someone just slicing plastic. And hey, kids, if you're uh, too young to handle a knife like this, you know, get your parents to do that. It's not safe. Don't, you know, wave it out and all that. So, how is everyone? Hope everyone's having a good December. It's almost Christmas. Have you gotten some gifts yet? Perhaps these will do. Nice little stocking fillers for kids, maybe. Um, also got some. All right, yay! Okay, uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, it's the bunny. It's um, they all have names. Does the card tell you the name, or do you have to look that up yourself? Joey Kangaroo can dunk a basketball. Birthday March one. Well, my birthday's in March, so that score point here. Oh wow, the pouch is actually a pouch. That's that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Um, can I put? I wonder what I can put in there. I can put a Lego figure in there or something. You know, for for a gacha or random item, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting something less of quality, something smaller, like you know, those, like tiny little ponies with a little felt skin. Like they're still hard plastic, but they have a felt skin. We'll look at this paper at the end of the video. So more unboxing time. Then uh, let's go up to the next one. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, and we have Rosie Raccoon, Rocket's long lost sister. Let's see, birthday is August 29, Midnight Black, that's a color, it's also in uh, I guess French underneath. Can be shy until she gets to know you. So, yep, the opposite. You say, brothers and sisters usually uh, tend to have opposite personalities. Rocket's not shy, so that's why she's shy. That's, that's I'm sticking with that. Next up, we have. Uh, Rocky the German Shepherd, June 15 birthday, Gingerbread Brown, loves belly rubs and walks, that's pretty much all dogs. Hmm, I don't know, I'm a fan of this one. Sorry, Rocky, I don't like you. Uh, green one, I'm using an alligator or something, uh, which, I don't know why, he's a plush and furry, doesn't make sense. Uh, Alan the Alligator. April 29th, lime green color. Uh, he has, has 400 teeth, you can't see all of them. Ten, I see 10. I suppose he's alright. He's kind of cute. Yeah. Well, I guess I won't get the polar bear. That's the one I kind of wanted. Oh well. Uh, we got this bird here. Let's see. Big beak. It looks like, it looks like one of those classic rubber duckies, you know, the yellow ones, just different color. It's almost that size, pretty much. Classic rubber ducky color. Size. Uh, let's see, Tina Token is loud and friendly and will always sing you a song. May 50, Black and Yellow. Uh, yeah, they are loud, that is accurate. No feet. Uh, <laughs> but I wouldn't want it to sing me a song because it's too loud. I like quiet. Oh, no, we're gonna repeat. Oh well. 
And the last one is going to be an orangey, brownish. Oh, got two that I didn't like. Oh, phooey. These are produced by the Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Co. Uh, or the bhtteddybear.com. They're made in China and they, they contain polyester fibers. So, you know, that's the information you need if you're worried about um, if your kid can play with them or not. You know, they're really high quality. They're really nicely made. Yeah, I'm squishing them. I have a lot of plushies. I love koala plushies. Um, I have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> and, uh, so I know when I see a good plushie. In fact, the name Digger comes from a plush, right? So these are, yeah, these are quite high quality. Um, I would say you probably give this to a pet and it wouldn't break uh, for at least a day, hopefully. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cool. And these, these are tiny, um, but you know, they're nice. You have a shelf of them, you might see a whole wall of cute stuff. That's probably quite nice. Um, I'm actually fiddling with one of the uh, rosy duplicates in my hand right now. Uh, she's the only one that doesn't look like a raccoon, because you know, raccoons are famous for the little thing around their eyes, the black fur that makes it look like the little bandits. Uh, this one doesn't look like a little bandit. And uh, their eyes, uh, the plastic eyes, actually have a little bit of glitter in them, so their eyes will always look shiny and stuff. Yeah, I, I like the kangaroo, but the kangaroo can't stand up on its own. The, all the other ones can do that. And um, so my kangaroo favorite, the raccoon. Cause it's, I mean, this looks more like a grey hamster, to be honest. And hamsters are adorable, so that's adorable. Uh, now, obviously, I don't know how much these things cost, so um, you know, judge that by yourself. I'm just judging them by the quality on their own. And uh, so it's got a little paper here, and supposedly the uh, Series 6 is going to be coming out soon. So I guess let's take a quick look at the little leaflet inside to say, hey, collect them all. You see, but how can we collect them all? You see, one of the biggest problems with these random balls, as you saw here, I got repeats. Uh, so I guess if you look through every hole of the plastic, you can kind of tell what you're getting. So if you want to cheat and do that, and well, go ahead and do that, I, I would. Uh, so anyway, uh, so let's see, series one, there was um, cat, lion, another type of dog, ooh, elephant. And, oh, that's a really cute crab. And let's see, you've got uh, of koalas, but this one isn't, I don't like this koala. I like realistic koalas. Hedgehog, super awesome. Owls, awesome. Uh, though this dog is awesome. And got a teddy bear there, I'm guessing that's a teddy bear. Uh, Dalmatian is nice, panda is nice, and this little seal is nice too. Okay, it seems in uh, series four, there's a Yeti. That's freaking awesome. And he's got just called Yeti. Ooh. Um, I would love to get my hands on that Yeti, that'd be awesome. Nice dolphin, and there's some special, there's a diamond edition, there's a moose and the rooster. Fire rooster, right, it's Pokemon now. Uh, and of course on the other side of the paper you have a full image list of uh, all of them from this series. So yeah, these, these are pretty nice, and if your kid likes plushies, or maybe he's not old enough for a really big one yet, and you just want to get a small one, or stocking stuffers or something, then these seem pretty decent. When I said I didn't look at the price of the toy, <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I took a quick look right now. Uh, according to Toy Wiz and Toys R Us in the USA, they cost six US dollars each. Now, in theory, uh, that's okay if you know what you're buying. Like, this one's pretty good value for that price because it's a pretty high quality stuff you know if you're in the West that's usually what the prices go for uh, obviously I can get these cheaper in Hong Kong like off-brand stuff and whatnot like, like I think I got like a, a, a Totoro for like less than this um, as well as a Pikachu at some point uh, but the, you know they were I think they were stock they were not quite good for the quality control so they're either gonna get binned or something so they're like leftover stock but um, you know you still get to choose one that's decent and I did you could like just put the phone light in it and just see ah what's that I can see it's gray or something it must be the raccoon and you know if you like that or if you see the white one it's like oh cool that's the must be the polar bear then yeah I, I would recommend these um, I've seen people also buy boxes of these which a bunch of them inside. I don't know if a full box has a full set. Now, if they sent me a full box, and I would know, but it didn't, <laughs> so I, I can't tell you that. Uh, if a full box has a full set and you like all of them, then great, go ahead. You know, you have the cash, go buy the full box. But if you're not, if you have to pick a random one, do put underneath the light and just just have a quick look and see if the color matches the one that you want. And then you just pick the ones you want, and that would be good, cool. Um, I hope they don't put a plastic bag around them inside the ball that's very ungreen 
uh, but they haven't done that, so kudos to them for not doing that and being green about it. Squeeze! I think so. These are good to squeeze. <laughs> nah, I won't do that anymore. I'm probably hurting it. So, <laughs> yes. Just want to add at the end of the video, thanks for Surprise uh for sending me for review copies uh, once again. And uh, I'm going to be passing these on to some less fortunate children who uh, won't be able to afford these uh, normally since it's almost Christmas. And um, you know, send them out there and let some kids have them have some joy during Christmas. So, every little helps.